firstly, persons who have been through war situations are not just going to have child emotions to deal with. They're going to have a very childlike emotions in an adult setting to deal with. So if a person has been through a traumatic experience as an adult, uh, that trauma will often severely affect their ability to connect with their own body. And so t terror is a major problem with regard to sexual connection. If we're in a terror state with regard to keeping ourselves alive, it's very, very hard to actually connect with our body's other needs. And so for many people who experience terror, they also will have deep disconnection with their own sexuality. But that is also connecting with childhood events regarding their life too. So it has to somehow connect with their mother and or, or you know, in, in a sexual way to the events. So, for example, often a person in terror, so let's say we, we're, we're you know, 21 year old, we go off to war, right? There will be lots of emotions about women in that pro process that may occur. For instance, we may see many women being raped, for example, while we're there. Do you follow me? <coughs> uh, in this war situation. We may see women and children being murdered. We may see all sorts of very traumatic events, right? We may even personally be involved in it because of being part of the army that actually was involved in it, for example. Now that will create emo huge emotions of guilt and shame and other types of emotions that need to be released, which will certainly affect my sexual uh, identity. So there's lots, of, there's lots of very, very powerful emotions affected when we're in a war situation like that.